this is my whatever you call it. Okay, so that's the uh, that's my fire retardant paste. Okay, um, I made this from all natural stuff. Um, you can see it's it's a little soggy. You can uh, you can actually play with this. Um, you can change the consistency of this. I have this a little a um, little too uh, too loose, as you can see. Um, kind of get a little ball of what it is. So this is. Kind of thinking of naming it uh, some something with Phoenix in the name of it because of what's inside of it. Uh, so anyway, that's. I'm not really telling you guys what this stuff is because um, or what's inside of it. I, I just don't really have a name for it yet. So um, anyway, this is a kind of a cool test. This water is ice cold right now. Um, I wanted to kind of see what what properties um, I got in here. Um, basically, what what I can make this stuff do or withstand. Um, so obviously, this is my stove. I'm gonna try to add a piece onto this corner here. And just press that in there. You guys, I'll, I'll kind of show you, show you what's gonna happen here. Looks like I'm just fingering a pile of shit. <laughs> Hold on. All right. So basically, what this test is, or the demonstration is gonna show you, is um, I did this earlier today. Um, blue flame is gonna be under here. It's really, really hot in the thousands of degrees with the blue flame. Um, it's water in here. Okay, my uh, my control test uh, without my insulation in there, this cup was boiling at a minute and 40 seconds. Um, so now I've got this insulation in here. Um, and before what happened was I kicked on the fire, fire started touching the bottom of the, the pad. Um, I stuck my finger in there after uh, after the, the control time, after a minute and 40 seconds, it wasn't boiling. Um, you saw bubbles at the top, but there was nothing down in there. So what I did was I, I stuck my finger in there. It was really hot at the top here, but I went farther down in, and it was actually cold at the bottom of the cup. It was hot at the top with the water, cold at the bottom with the water because of this insulating pad here. And uh, you kind of saw there was a lot of condensation. So um, I'm kind of... To show you guys because this this cup will will sweat pretty bad so you can see that it's completely dry that a that's wet on the side there I'll just wipe those off so people aren't thinking I'm just adding water to the side of the cup and literally you'll just have condensation at the bottom and nothing at the top main main reason is is uh the flames are not not getting the bottom of the cup, but the flames will reach out and lick the top of this. So, all right. Go ahead and get her going. So, all right. Blue flame is on my fire retardant pad. There's the condensation, you guys. You'll just watch. The water driplets. And literally as long as you have that condensation on the outside of the cup, your temperature inside is considerably less. So I made this stuff to be fire retardant. It's not supposed to catch on fire. 
which you can see the blue flame is cooking this thing and it is not catching on fire condensation that's all condensation there oh, it's kind of I don't know why it's hard to see but see all those droplets going in on the inside here nothing probably been on there for about a minute or so yep the top is hot farther down in that is cool it's not boiling Now, kind of, you can see bubbles. You can see bubbles starting to form. I don't have a pointer. Yeah. Okay. Bubbles are forming here. But you can kind of see there's a line all the way around this where the heat is not getting to the metal. So that's actually cooler down there, closer to the fire, than it is up here, farther away from the fire. Kind of get that straw out of there. You guys can kind of see what I'm talking about with that ring that's all the way down there. There's no bubbles on that bottom ring. You can see my pad. It's still not on fire. I've still got condensation on the outside. It's still sweating. I just saw a bead just run down the side of this cup. Blue flame. So Phoenix something. Well, we're past a two minute window. And without that pad underneath there, this water would be boiling violently. Still, still got side bubbles. You've got very, very few bubbles forming at the bottom down there. But none of them are getting hot enough to break that surface to come all the way to the top. You're still getting a bunch of bubbles on the side of the cup. But nothing down there where my insulating pad is. And that, guys, this is being cooked. Constant flame. Constant flame to my fire retardant pad. To the bottom of this really thin metal cup with water inside of it. Now eventually, yeah. Eventually, yes. This cup will just get hot. And the whole entire thing will just heat up. But what I'm showing is the heat resistant properties of what I just made from this natural it's literally if I told you guys what I made this stuff out of you guys just probably I don't I don't know probably I don't believe me believe me or not believe me I don't I don't know but you can see I can't even that little guy right there no no he's not doing it I'm gonna lower this flame so it's directly underneath the pad still got a little bit of conversation Yep, I just got nothing but bubbles on the side of the cup. Very few bubbles at the bottom. And this has been on there for more than, I'd say, three minutes now, four minutes, and it's still not boiling. I'll turn the heat all the way up. 
So now the flame is coming out on the side of the cup. You can kind of see it's going out over the pad. So that's not really protecting it. But what we should start to see is it to bubble. More violently, at least. We've got hotter temperatures up here away from the fire. Colder temperatures down there closer to the fire. Oh, the plastic is getting soft. Yep, yeah, that's pretty hot in there now. So now that the cup is actually boiling, and that test is over, Go ahead and remove that. And now we'll just let the pad burn. And see just what this thing does. You can see the outsides. The bottom will kind of glow. And I can show you guys. This has been on the flame for the past... 10, I don't know, 9, 10 minutes. It's been cooking. It's glowing red under there. Glowing red. If it's glowing red, it kind of tells you it's hot. So, turn that off. There's no... The red disappears. It's actually, it is hot, so don't think I'm just trying to be a badass. It is, it is hot. Um, but it's, I'm holding it in my fingers. This is cooling off so fast now that I can touch it. So once you use this to protect whatever you need to protect, that's the inside. You can just bring it over to your little concoction, drop it back in there. And then to get that, I mean this, this stuff is reusable, so pretty much all you would do to get this back into working condition is um, rehydrate and just kind of crumbles apart like a cookie. put a glove on I'm sure this isn't hot I mean the the metal grate is probably hot but my uh, my fire resistant pad isn't that's probably not hot right now but the reason why I'm just grabbing it kind of like this just so that it makes it all over there more easily so this is the kind of got some some fire retards down there. Um, so anyway, you can kind of see what the bottom of this stuff looks like. Um, this is where the high heat, I mean, this blue flame was just on it. And it just wasn't, wasn't cooking it. Wasn't burning. It was keeping the heat away. Um, this will be good for um, like electronics, um, welding. Um, I don't, I don't know. This is, Wanted to make a fire fire retardant material, and there it is. Fire retardant material. You can break that all up. Uh, let me get my... I can't find my, my spoon. Yeah, oh well. Anyway, you can just grab this stuff and it's what it comes down to, powder, pretty much. This this is a special stuff that I made, but it just breaks down to powder. You add a little hydration into it, mix it all back up, and then you get your uh, your clay material, 
paste and then remold it to whatever. The cup's still smoking. Remold it to whatever. So interesting. Anyway, bye.